This world is destined for destruction. America cannot rise again. She failed to turn at her turning point in 1956, and now she cannot raise again. And now it, it God has permitted another agency to control, and now it's time for us not to fight the government, not to fight the systems. They're going to continue to get worse. But it's to stand in the face of it all and whenever given the opportunity to stand for the word, I can't do that because the Bible says. I can't do that because the Bible says. I won't do that because the word of God says. That's what we're here for, to prove to Satan that we do believe he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. If it was wrong yesterday, it's wrong today. It'll be wrong forever. Now, God's not changing his mind about his word. It doesn't matter how far along the culture goes. Amen. I'm not moving with the culture. I'm staying with the word. And just because everybody else says it's right doesn't make it right. Amen. Years ago, we talked about the progression of immorality in the denominational church because the denominational system, as long as they're not as bad as the world, feel okay. Is that right? So you look at the churches, whatever they were, 50 years ago is a drastic difference to what they are now. There's some denominations that would not allow their women to wear pants just 100 years ago. Some of the denominations now that will permit same-sex marriage wouldn't let their women wear pants. Or earrings, or makeup. And in 100 years, they've gone from not allowing the women, amen, to dress like a man, wear makeup or excessive jewelry, and to now they'll marry two women together at their altar. And there can be a lesbian or a homosexual priest that will perform the wedding. How did they get there? Because they didn't believe God was the same yesterday, today, and forever. They failed by the same thing E failed by. She knew what the word was, but she was made to believe that that word no longer counts in this situation. And it, and it doesn't mean exactly like that for this, and God won't judge. And that's exactly what happened to the church. But the problem is, amen, and the message, many message believers have followed suit. So as long as, when the world goes here, as long as the denomination of church is back here and they say we're better than this standard, then we're okay. Some of the message churches have been following the denominations, and as long as we're not as bad as the denomination, we're okay. But I say, God, help us not to fall into this trap. I don't want to be a few degrees better than wrong. I want to be right with the Word of God. If the prophet of God told us how to dress, that's how we dress. The prophet of God told us how we conduct ourselves, how we deal with one another, how we live in the public, how we, whatever. I mean, you, we, can, we can go through all kinds of details, but you get the point. If the prophet of God taught it, if the word of God is explicit on something, that's still good today. It was good, amen. It was good in 1969. It's still good in 2023. We shouldn't be changing with the times. 